They're recently laid off or you're cutting back on purchases to save money during these uncertain times, it's more important than ever to know where your money is going. And that includes creating an emergency budget and sticking to it. Everything Financial CEO Peter Sashecki joins us now via Skype. Good morning, Peter. Good to see you. Good to see you, Carrie. How's it going? Uh, pretty, uh, it's going pretty well. A lot of people, though, are in a tight situation now. Some have lost their income, uh, are getting by maybe on a reduced paycheck. A lot of uncertainty, uh, Peter. So while it may not be too late for people to save money, it's not too late to create an emergency budget. How do we get started? Uh, best way to get started on an emergency budget is probably to get an online app that will allow you to track what you spend on a daily basis. It's amazing how quickly people just lose money in a sense that they spend money that they don't really keep track of. And the best way is to keep track of those nickels and dimes and the few dollars that just kind of get, you know, put away in places you don't, you don't even know how you spend sometimes $30 a day. Sure, absolutely. Maybe it goes in a credit card or one thing is on the debit card. So yeah, to keep track of all those things like food, shelter, transportation, because writing everything down might be a bit too tedious. It, it is, and uh, there is a lot of good online apps that you can have right on your smartphone that every time you make a purchase, boom, they go right into the budget software, and it takes about three months normally during normal circumstances uh, to really get a good track record of what you're spending on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. Yeah, okay, and there's ways that we can cut out some cost, and that means getting rid of maybe some of the small luxuries that uh, we might now be able to live without. That's true, but this is kind of right now coming when we come out of COVID-19, kind of a catch-22, because when I say this, I don't want to offend anybody, but, you know, maybe one less trip to the coffee shop a day, even though those are the businesses, the small businesses that are being really hurt right now, but maybe skip one of the luxury coffees once in a while or going to the corner store sometimes to pick up an extra few things. And going to the grocery store, you can save yourself money if you just plan and have a list and then you don't spend on things that you didn't intend on getting in the first place. Yeah, maybe skip that box of Oreos that you've been eyeing and maybe go for something less okay. expensive. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's not get carried away. I'm just out of quarantine today, so let's not let's not touch my Oreos. Okay, fair enough. Well, uh, stay safe and well, Peter, and uh, thanks for the chat this morning. Thank you very much. Take care, everyone. That's Peter Sashaki from Everything Financial.